What, was I in danger then? Or in pain? In pain. Look at your ankles. They're still swollen up more than normal. What's that to do with it? An old weakness I've had since a child. I know you have. Your ankles were drilled through and tied together. I cut you free. That must be true. You can still see the scars I had from this boy. How else did you get your name? Oedipus Swollen Foot. Well, that's what it means, isn't it? Dear gods. Who would do such a thing to a child? My father or my mother? Don't ask me that. Ask the other chap, the one who gave you to me. Gave me? You didn't find me yourself? I did not. There was another shepherd. He gave you to me and asked me to look after you. And who was he? Could you identify him? He was always thought of as one of Laius' men. Laius? The Laius who was king here before? King Laius, that's the one. This chap worked for him. And is he still alive? Where can I see him? Ask! Your own people, they should know. That this shepherd and the shepherd you've already sent for must be identical. But ask the Queen. She's sure to know. Jocasta, you know the shepherd, the one we've sent for. Is it the same man? What man? What is the matter? One shepherd or another? None of it matters. Forget it, the whole thing. Don't pursue it. Get it? Of course I can't forget it. What nonsense. My birth's a mystery, but with all these clues, I intend to solve it. Listen to me. In heaven's name, listen. If you want to stay alive, this search must end. It's making me ill. I'm sick with it already. Isn't that enough? There's no need for such glue. Ah! Suppose it proved that I was born a slave from generations of slaves. Would that sicken you or affect your standing? Listen, I'm begging you, don't go on! I must go on. I must know the truth. I know! I know what I'm talking about! I'm telling you this for your own good. And when did I ever put my own good, as you call it, above the service of the state? My God. You're doomed. You can't escape. I have one wish. And one wish only, that you never discover who you really are. Polly, one of you, fetch that shepherd here. My wife is too proud of her blue blood. She's scared she may have married a slave. It's finished. No chance now. You're doomed. I've said all there is to say. And my last word to you... Forever. If I can foretell the future, either by prophecy or common sense, I predict that by tomorrow morning, this truth will be gone. That mysterious Kitharo, that, that magical mountain, was father and mother and nurse to Oedipus, our king. And our voices will sing praises for his outlandish birth, the child of the earth, and glory to Apollo and, and thanksgiving. Or perhaps some sky-born Olympian brought him to birth, an immortal mother, maybe Pan, who goes roving the slopes at evening, seduced a wild goddess of woodland or screen, or Apollo, who relishes high pasture, Bred a son from a spirit. Or Hermes, in his summit of Kyrene, did it with the deed. Or was Dionysus' passionate sea sown on Helica? Where I lay dreaming. Elder statesman of Thebes, I think I can see the man we're waiting for. I'm making a guess. I never set eyes on him, but my men are bringing him, and he looks the same age as this man from Corinth. See the one? You should know him. You've seen him before. I recognize him. This is the man. He was Laius' servant and honest as the day. Now, friend from Corinth, you speak first. Is this 
the man you mean. It is... And you, old shepherd, look me in the eye. And answer my questions. Did you work for old King Lias? Yes, sir, I did. I was born and bred in his service, not bought in the market. And what was your job here? How were you employed? For most of my life, I've been a shepherd, sir. And this fellow here? Have you ever seen him before? What man do you mean, sir? How would I know him? This man, standing here. Did you have any dealings with him ever that you remember? I can't say. Not just this minute. I can't remember. Of course, he's forgotten. But I'll soon remind him. The days when us two were neighbors up there on Kithira, and he won't forget that, will you? He had two flocks, and I had one. Three seasons altogether, we were up there, the two of us, and on the mountain from spring right through to the autumn. Then I drove my lot down to Corinth, and he took his lot down to Thebes to Lyas' place. Now, is that true, or isn't it? Well, true enough, it's a long time ago. In that case, you won't have forgotten that boy. The baby you gave me, you told me to look after it and bring it up as my own. Why are you asking about that? It's years ago. And he's a grown man. My dear old mate, this is that baby. God damn you, be quiet. Keep your mouth shut. Oh, now, old fellow, you deserve that sharp tone more than he does. Why, great king, what have I done wrong? Not giving a straight answer to a straight question. He was asking you about the child. It's just talk. He knows nothing. He doesn't understand. Now, listen. If you won't speak willingly, you'll be forced to speak. I'm an old man, sir. Don't hurt me, for you God's too. sake. Twist his arms back, quickly. Oh, God help me now. What have I done? What more do you want to know? This man here was asking you about a child. Was it you who gave him that child? Was it? Yes. It was me. I wish I had died that day. Where did it come from? Was it your child? Or did someone give it to you? Not mine. Would I give my own child away? It came from someone else. Who else? From Thebes? From one of the citizens here? What kind of house did that baby come from? I beg you, sir. By all the gods, don't ask me that. I am asking. If I must ask again, you're as good as dead. Well, you see, it was born in Laius house. A slave? Or was it a blood relation? I'm on the edge, sir. Must I say it? Yes, we're both on the edge. I must hear you say it. They did say it was his. But the queen in the palace, she could tell you. Do you mean she gave it to you? Yes, sir, she did. Why? For what purpose? To kill it, sir. Her own child. Poor woman. Yes, sir, there was some prophecy. She was scared stiff. What prophecy? There was talk that the boy would kill his father. And why, in the name of all the gods, did you give it to this man? I couldn't kill it, master. I couldn't do it. A little boy, three days old. I thought he'll take it miles away to his own country. It'll be all right. So he took it and saved its life. And now it's all turned out like this. If you are that man, sir, the boy my friend took to Corinth, you were marked out for suffering from the day you were born.